all, uh, I'm just going to repeat to what Chetan Sharma said last night to announcing the team. He said uh, to a particular question on uh, DK and Rishabh Pant, he said, uh, no worries, no problems, India is going to win the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I haven't heard what he said, but uh, I'm glad he's uh, very confident. Uh, we'll have to play well to win. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, yeah, we started well. A uh, little bit of a disappointing game at Perth. Uh, I thought we fought really well and fought really hard. And, um, you know, a little bit of luck here and there. Or we made a few mistakes as well. Uh, and uh, that could have been a slightly different result. But having said that, you know, the Pakistan game could have gone the other way as well. So, yeah, these things happen in 2020 cricket. But, yeah, we're very confident. and But we know we have to play very, very well from here on in if we want to win. It's really question of winning the next four games really it's literally you have to win the next four games to be able to win this tournament uh, Rosal, uh, the question is uh, like how are you assessing like is there a problem with technique or mindset of, uh, as far as scale Rahul is concerned is there something that's bothering you his approach uh, no not at all I think he's a fantastic player and uh, he's got a proven track record he's uh, he's done really well I thought he's been batting superbly and these things can happen. I think in a 2020 game, sometimes, you know, it's uh, it's been a tough... It's not been that easy for uh, for sort of top-order batsmen. This this tournament's been pretty challenging. Uh, I thought he was superb in the... Maybe a lot of you were not there, but in the practice game against Australia with, you know, Mitchell Stark and Patrick Cummins, and it was a pretty good attack, and I thought he batted superbly in that day to get 60, I think, you know, 50 or 60. I'm not sure exactly how much of, of quite few. So he's actually playing really well. And um, yeah, I'm just hoping it uh, it all clicks together over the next uh, three or four games. And yeah, if, if we know his quality, we know his ability, and uh, he's really well suited for these kind of conditions, these kind of pitches. He's got a good all-round game. He's got a very good strong back foot game, which is obviously very much required in these conditions. Um, so yeah, so we're pretty confident. We're happy with the way he's hitting it. Rahul, Rahul, uh, talking about uh, this match again, there's some rain threat. What actually the team do when there's a, a chance of rain cattle match, DR, DLS and some Dakwa twist comes in and all. And if it becomes a 10-over match or 12-over match, then what exactly is the approach the sun, uh, naturally the teams take? Uh, I mean, we can't... Con like, I mean, from our general chat has always been to control what we can control. I mean, the weather and what is going to happen, unfortunately, we can't really control, right? I mean, I, I think... Consider, considering one, I think Afghanistan's been very unfortunate. They've missed, they've, I think two of their games have got washed out. We've been lucky. We've had, you know, we've been able to play both our sort of, uh, you know, all three of our games for full 20 overs. So so we've been lucky, I'd say. Um, but yeah, we, we can only control what we can control. I mean, if the weather tomorrow um, challenges us or forces us to play a 10-12 over game, then then we'll respond, you know, accordingly. We'll, uh, we'll play it like it is. I mean, you can't, you know, can't go in thinking about it or planning up for a 10 over. You don't know how many overs it will be. So you go in thinking it'll be a 20 over game and then we'll just respond accordingly. So yeah, we'll control it as and when we get there. Also, uh, so, uh, I mean, just a quick follow up on uh, KL Rahul. So, I mean, when you, when you tell us that uh, KL Rahul has been batting really well, do you also like address this issue in the dressing room and also tell him the same thing that yes, you have been batting really well, these conditions suit you or do you just let him be because, I mean, it's fine as long as the team is doing well. No, we have a lot of conversations with our players and, you know, uh, a lot of it is... Uh, um, it's hard to get into exact details about what conversations you have with your players, but uh, rest assured, I think, uh, you know, um, both in words and in action, um, I think over the last year, he's uh, he knows he has our support, you know. Uh, he's known that. Uh, we've been very. There's been a lot of clarity about what our side is going to be, what our squad is going to be, uh, come to this tournament, and we haven't wavered from that for a very long time. Yes, because we play a lot of cricket, you might see a lot of different people playing in different situations in different games. There've been a lot of injuries, including him. You know, he's had um, he's had phases where he's unfortunately been injured. But uh, in word and in action, I think with all of our players, we've. Uh, you know, and I think that's a really great, the great thing about Rohit that he's really shown them that confidence and that belief. <coughs> Rahul Bhai, Vimal Kumar here. Uh, in the last half of a year, when you became a coach, you were asking about Virat Kohli, but you said that you were a captain, you said that we support you, and they justified it. 
सेम थिंग अभी राहुल के साथ या डीके के साथ या किसी और प्लेयर के साथ होती है ऐसे में कप्तान और कोच के लिए कितना डिफिकल्ट होता है डू यू सी यू ट्राई टू से कि देखो हमारे पास कोहली का एग्जाम्पल है हमने बैक किया या फिर इस तरह की चीज़ें होती है आपको पता कि अगर चीज़ें नहीं वर्कआउट होती हैं तो सारा ब्लेम भी आएगा एज ए कोच और कैप्टन कितना डिफिकल्ट होता है वन सम इंडिविजुअल्स आर स्ट्रगलिंग और आप लोग उसको टू द हिल्ट बैक कर रहे होते हैं नहीं डिफ़िकल्ट होता ही नहीं एक्चुअली हमारे लिए तो ये डिफ़िकल्ट है ही नहीं क्योंकि हम लोग ज़्यादा ध्यान नहीं देते कि बाहर क्या हो रहा है क्या लोग कह रहे हैं यू नो वी हैव सर्टन आइडियाज़ इन माइंड वी हैव सर्टन बिलीफ इन प्लेयर्स वी प्लेड द गेम इनफ टू नो दैट पीपल विल गो थ्रू सम अप्स एंड डाउन वी ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड द नेचर ऑफ ऑफ इंडियन क्रिकेट विच देर इज you know once you've gone past kohli and kohli has scored runs who's the next guy and then if rahul scores runs okay let's look around who's the next guy so that's part of the job i mean it's, and that's no i don't mean that in a derogatory manner that's just the nature of professional sport right i think you know when we play this game actually it's not at all difficult for us because we are very clear we don't get you know swayed by what is said outside and what people are saying um, we have the confidence in our players we have the belief in our players we know uh, especially in this 2020 format which is such a um how can you put it high risk format in the in the sense that you're asking people to play a high risk brand of cricket you're asking them to play a positive brand of cricket uh, we've always had that belief that we need to give them that confidence at backing and and our players in whoever we picked here in the 15 we can't always play everyone in the 15 we only play 11 uh, but everyone has our you know backing and support and they've been here because we know their quality and we also understand that times you know they might not be able to deliver for us it doesn't you know uh make them bad players uh but uh, but yeah they they will certainly back them and we have they have our support it's not difficult at all for us to back players and support players not at all uh, rahul sir uh, just wanted to know yeah just wanted to know that uh, your assessment of uh, india's death bowling so far in this tournament because against pakistan and south africa in both occasion we have i think spent more than 90 runs in the last 10 overs uh look it's a, uh, all i mean it's an area of our, a game that you know we we've uh, wanted to look to address to look get better at um, you know obviously bums was a he was one of our guys who was penciled in to bowl us two of those overs um, i mean it's really it's really heartening for us to see the way young ashdeep singh has developed over the last few months um, you know you, if you had asked me in in november when i first took over and and i had a, a you know a, a list of bowlers in my mind Sure, Ashdeep was there, but he was, you know, he was certainly he hadn't had that kind of IPL. He had had one good IPL, but the way he's come along after that, you know, he's come and forced his way into the side and done really well. So that's a fantastically heartening thing to see. Um, you know, again, someone like Shami and and Bhuvi, Bhum, uh, sorry, Bhuvi have bowled really well for us. Um, so yeah, we have to keep developing and keep getting slightly better with our plans and our strategies uh, around these uh, around those games. Uh, you know i think the the net the i won't reach too much into the netherlands game to be very honest it you know the we were trying to get a few wickets and you're trying a few things at the back end pakistan i think we considered 53 or 54 runs there were a few balls there that you know shahin shafri the hit us for a six and it was another full toss which i think harris rof hit for six which you know we looked at it and thought maybe we could have done things slightly differently you don't concede those six runs and actually a pretty good uh, pretty good power play so there's one or two balls there that you know hopefully we can get right and get better as as we go along but uh, but yeah so it's certainly an area we we in all areas we want to get better but that's one we are certainly looking at uh, rahul to your right yeah hi uh, hi uh, what do you th- how do you think dinesh uh, karthik has gone in this tournament i mean he seemed to have a very solid partnership with surya the other night and and then the problem with the back so what is his fitness status as well? uh yeah no i mean he's looked he's pulled up pretty well today he was uh, unfortunately had that spasm when he jumped to collect a bouncer i think when he landed badly i think he landed in a way that uh, i think he just did his back a little bit but uh, but you know with treatment and with the day in the next for sort of last yes this morning he's pulled up pretty well he's come to training uh, so we'll be assessing it we'll see how it goes and we'll see how he pulls up tomorrow morning after a, a good practice session today we'll put him through his paces and uh, ensure that uh, you know we've given him a good workout and then see how he pulls up tomorrow morning before making a, a final decision again tough for someone like uh, dk you know to assess how he's gone you know, get to play many games uh, you know they got one ball against pakistan at that back end then bat against netherlands thought was building up a pretty good partnership with 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 surya at that stage we needed that little bit of partnership you know just to get stabilize us and and it just was set up for him but 
you know, again, that's the nature of this game. You know, you play that high risk shot and you can get out in that shot, which is why people need to be supported and backed as much as, you know, we possibly can in these formats. Because, you know, you hardly, sometimes people, especially in positions like DKs with five, at biting at five and six, you don't get enough balls, you know, you don't get enough thing. And then when you have to go in, you have to really deliver high risk shots without having much time to settle in. So, uh, yeah, you know, our belief has always been to back and support players in those positions so that come come the critical time, hopefully, you know, they'll be um, in the right space, frame of mind to be able to play those crunch shots for us. Hi, Rahul. Yeah. How do you see Bangladesh as an opponent in general? And uh, they have a poor record against India and... Um, they are not a confident team in this side, actually. And Bangladesh captain Saki Valasan actually well said that uh, it will be an upset if Bangladesh beat India. So what's your take on that? No, I think we respect them a lot. I think they're a, they're a very good team. Um, you know, I think uh, this format and this World Cup has really shown us that, honestly, you can't, um, you can't take any team lightly. Um, Ireland, you know, showed that against England. We've seen enough games um, in, this, in, this, uh, in this competition. And I think the fact that it is already a, such a short format, 20 overs is such a short format of the game, the margins of victory and defeat, sometimes even if they're 12 runs, 15 runs, it's actually just two hits. It's two hits one way or the other, and, and actually that's the, that's the game. So it is already a short and, uh, you know, sort of rushed, noisy format that it's very difficult to sometimes, you know, uh, say who's a clear favourite in, in some of these games. And, you know, on top of that, I think these conditions, you know, I think these conditions have actually leveled the playing field to a large extent, you know, because the boundaries are suddenly bigger and some of those big hits, which you sometimes ex expect in the subcontinent to just go for six and you just know that I'll be able to make up those runs later on. Uh, it's not happening that easily. People are getting out. Uh, so, so I think, you know, it's a, it's a really, it's been a fantastic tournament from that perspective. Um, you know, apart from the weather, I think it's been a terrific tournament in terms of the, just the nature of the games. Um, and and no, we certainly don't take Bangladesh lightly. Our preparation, our planning, um, you know, will be as meticulous as it was against South Africa at Perth. No, no different. Rahul, um, as you rightly said, it's it's a high risk format, and it's not fair to judge just on the numbers. But uh, just that KL has has not not even yet been in a position to take a high risk. Two of his dismissals are on the def on defensive shots. Does that? Concern you a little, or are you able to afford that time to let him get in and, you know, uh, let him get in and then start playing his game? Uh, in these conditions, maybe we are uh, able to afford him that time. And like I said, in the answer to the question, we uh, completely back him. Uh, we have no concerns about him. We know that when he when he gets going, and I've seen it against Australia, against a top class attack just a couple of weeks ago. I know the impact this guy can make. So. You know, I think in, in Rohit and my Rohit and my mind is absolutely no doubt about who's going to open for us, and um, you know, uh, and and in this this format, this the nature. I think every wicket is different. You know, I think you've just got to. That's one of the things. Is again, this tournament has shown playing in different parts of Australia. You know, the grounds are so different. You know, suddenly you were playing in Perth the other night where the boundaries were 80 yards. They come here and it's suddenly different. The kind of shots you'll play here will be very different to the kind of shots you'll play at Perth. You'll have to bowl different kind of balls, which I think is a unique nature of playing this tournament in this country that almost game to game, you're having to adopt, adapt your tactics, your strategies uh, to different conditions. And I think that's the, uh, you know, that's the uniqueness of that. And if, if the conditions so dictate that the ball is nip nipping around, doing a bit, uh, then we can afford our batsmen to maybe be a little bit more conservative, keep wickets in hand and then target. I think it's about adapting and being smart. I don't think there's just one way to play uh, T20 cricket on all conditions. Yes, there is a general template in which we understand T20, you have to be positive, you have to take the game on. Uh, that would be 80% of most of T20 games. But there is, a, there is another 20% and that can come in big tournaments like this wherein you've got to have the players, and we discussed that in our dressing room, that who have to be able to adapt and understand and read a situation. If it's not a if it's not a 200-run wicket or it's not a 180-run wicket and 160 is going to get the job done for you, then let's figure out a way to get to 160. I mean, last night, you know, 150 might have done the job for us. I mean, 133 nearly did. 150 might have, right? So I think just, you know, I think we can't... We might be able to afford people a little bit more time here. We may not. It might be a really flat one when we come out here tomorrow and... It might become a 180 wicket and we might need to go harder. So I think the key word for me is adaptability and reading these conditions, these boundaries really well. And the teams that do that best will probably be the ones that will end up uh, in the in the top four and certainly in the top two. 
Hi, Rahul. Uh, a concerning incident with Virat in Perth uh, regarding his hotel room and the security concern. Have you spoken to him? Is he OK? And what sort of support are you expecting as a team now you're in Adelaide? Yeah, obviously it was. It's obviously disappointing. It's 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 not very comfortable for, you know, for anyone, uh, let alone Virat. I mean, it is disappointing. But, um, but yeah, we have flagged it with the relevant authorities. Uh, they've taken action, um, and hopefully, you know, incidences like this will not happen, um, you know, in the future. And and hopefully, people are a lot more careful because you know it's the one place where um, you feel you're away from people's prying eyes and and without the media glare on you and uh, without the photographs that all of these players you know have to deal with um it's the one place where you hope to feel secure and safe and that's taken away that's it's, it's not it's not really a nice feeling but uh, but yeah no i think he's dealt with it really well he's fine he's, he's here at training he's, he's absolutely perfect and i am really hoping that you know we've taken it up with the relevant relevant authorities and that's that's all we can do lovely to be in adelaide man Lovely city. Good memories. Hello, Rahul. Fielding के बारे में आप क्या कहोगे? क्योंकि T20 में fielding इतना important हो जाता है, चाहे दो run save करना हो, चाहे एक brilliant run या brilliant catch. तो उसमें थोड़ी सी और edge आज आनी चाहिए. ऐसा लगता है आपको? I mean, we've been good, and you know, there were few opportunities that we could have taken in the last game. Um, that happens. I thought we were very good in the other two games. Um, you know, I thought we were pretty, uh, very good against Pakistan in that game and uh, some very difficult conditions. So yeah, it is a very important format. Margins are so small. Every opportunity that you take, especially when you've only managed to score 133, uh, you've got to take it. Um, we didn't. It's, it's it's not because of lack of effort or anything. Um, again, it's, it's just the nature of the game. Some days those direct ones hit, you know, you hit those and they hit from anywhere. Some days they don't. And it's you know, and the ball goes to the best fielder in the park. And, you know, and it can happen. That's a great lesson in humility, right? This can happen to anyone. Can't read too much into these things, you know, and we keep doing our processes, keep working hard and, you know, keep doing the things that we need to do. Sorry, Rahul, allow me to take you back uh, before, just before nine days. Uh, after the 19th over, were you also a bit tensed against the Pakistan match? Yeah, a bit tense is an understatement. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 you know, to be honest with you, that game, um, uh, I think, let's be honest, we were, we were out of it for most part of it, you know. Uh, and then I thought with five overs to go, 60 runs to go with, you know, Virat and Hardik at the crease, I thought, wow, you know, you, you, you sometimes back them to get 12. I know it was all still going to be tough. But we thought, you know, I really thought, and then they bowled a couple of fantastic overs. They bowled two Six run, six run overs, I think they bowled six and six. Uh, I think it was Naseem and Harris, I think it was six and six. And then we needed 48 and three. And you're thinking, wow, shucks, man, this is, this is you know, it's going to be tough for us. You need 28 and eight. You know the guy needs to hit two sixes for you. Uh, he does it, phenomenal stuff. Uh, you need 16 of the last over. You get 10 in one ball. You still need six runs to get, you need six balls to get the remaining six. So, I mean, it was that up and down. It was such a roller coaster ride. It was... It's an incredible match to be a part of, and yeah, being tense was probably an understatement. But uh, I was pretty relaxed till the, till then because I thought we didn't were not in it. But then when you start thinking, oh, I'm in this, then you get a bit more tense. <laughs>